All right. So let's take an object that moves in three directions. So we can have a triangle there with an angle. All right, angle theta, three positions, A, B, and C. Okay, so the distance, or displacement rather, from A to B is three meters, B to C is four meters, and uh, delta X from A to C, so delta X would be your displacement, is five meters. All right, so we worked out our delta X. Okay, now we know how to do that. Okay, don't we? Let's try work it out. So how do we get delta x? Well, because it appears to be a right angle triangle, and we already have two sides. All right, we know that we can use our old friend, Pythagoras. All right, we can use Pythagoras. All right, excellent. So let's use Pythagoras. Let's redraw, all right, as best as we can. All right. Now, sort of looks like the triangle that was three meters that was four meters and let's say that was our unknown let's say this was our delta x so we didn't know what it was all right so what do we do so we had a we had a b then we had a c all right so a c squared equals our let's jump straight to the math three squared plus three squared all right, so three squared we know is nine. All right, plus four squared is 16. All right, that looks like 25. All right, AC, all right, squared. To get rid of the square, all right, uh, or the square roots, or the square, sorry, we need to square root AC. What we do to the left, we need to do to the right, so we square root 25 as well. Therefore, AC is equal to Five meters and therefore delta x we got to be five meters which is our displacement of the object okay hence the displacement of an object moving from a to b to c is the shortest straight line distance from a to c all right hence our delta x or our displacement was five meters all right perfect and let's go have a look at some calculations, okay, with distance and displacement, all right? Some calculations that we'll get in our exam papers or that we'll get tested on. All right, let's read the question together. A girl runs around a circular track with a radius of 25 meters. She starts at the southernmost point A, runs right around the track, and completes two laps. A asks us to calculate, one, the distance she covers, and two, her displacement after the two laps. B asks us to calculate her displacement after completing half a lap. All right, well, let's go do that. First of all, let's start by solving A. Okay. Let's start by solving A. So first of all, A, it's a, let's draw the picture. I'll draw the picture in this corner. So it's a circular track, more or less. All right, I don't think my circle is that bad. All right, as said, it had a radius of 25 meters. Okay, 25 meters, yes, perfect. And um, its initial point A was over here, I think. That is A, her initial point. Okay, perfect. Okay, so she starts at the southernmost point, that's A. All right, and she runs right around the track and completes two laps. Okay, so let's have a look at the first one here. The first part says, all right, we need to calculate the distance she covers. So the distance that she covers, okay, first of all, we know that the circumference of a circle all right, it's the circumference of a circle equals to 2 pi r. We have the radius, we know what pi is. So 2 
times pi times 25 gives us an answer of 157.08 meters. All right? And the question, therefore, it was, she ran two laps. So after two laps, all right, all we have to do is take two times by our circumference of the circle or of the track, and we get an answer of 314.16 meters. That is her total distance. All right, that is her total distance. So therefore, little d for distance equals to 314.16 meters. Perfect. Now the second part of A asks us to calculate her displacement. All right, so delta x now. So she completes two laps, all right? She completes two laps. If she completes two laps, we must understand that she must end up where she began, all right, for her two laps to be completed. Therefore, her displacement is zero meters. Why? Because she is back at the starting point. Remember, if you complete two laps, you are back at the starting point, all right? So that means you end where you start. So in other words, here, her xi, her initial position, equals her final position, all right? So therefore, her displacement is zero. Okay, let's have a look at B. B says calculate her displacement, all right? after half a lap, all right, half a lap. Wow, let's see how we do that now. All right, so B asks us to calculate her displacement after half a lap. So you must understand that after half a lap, after half a lap, okay, she is directly she's directly opposite point A all right remember let's draw the circle again here is point A all right here is our radius of 25 so half a lap is over here so she's directly opposite point A all right so Hmm, what would half of her, what would half of her total distance be? So if she finds herself directly opposite A, therefore her displacement is going to equal 50 meters north. All right, because if she's directly opposite A, number one, her A is at the southernmost point. So directly opposite must be north all right because she's in the south position so she must be in the north position if she's half if she completes half a lap all right perfect okay and that ladies and gentlemen is the end of our distance and displacement video okay hope you found the example all right quite useful and that you're confident in calculating uh, distance and displacement uh, questions. More calculations will be posted in the next video. All right, stay tuned for more uh, topics in this section.